Good morning. Let's get excited about Sunday School. And this is the Lifeway lesson for April 25th, 2021. Today we begin a series, Telling Others About Jesus. Part 1, The Great Commission. Hey there, I hope you got your garden in and I hope the cold weather didn't kill it. Let's talk for a while this morning about the Great Commission. All successful churches and the people who make up those churches live by the Great Commandment, which is to love, and the Great Commission, which is to tell everybody about God's love, specifically the Gospel, the story of Jesus. As most of you know, the Great Commission is described in Matthew 28. So that's where our lesson is drawn from. Now we also see Jesus giving the Great Commission in Mark, Luke, and Acts, but this is where we have it spelled out most clearly. Now, after the death of Jesus, he was buried, but he rose again. And after his resurrection, he appeared for 40 days doing miraculous things and teaching his disciples. After 40 days, a lot of people saw him ascend. And although he would make special appearances after that, most of the early Christian church used this as their milestone for counting the days down to Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came down and empowered the disciples to be evangelists. Now that same Holy Spirit is available to us. Before the ascension, Jesus told people, all authority, all power is given unto me. Now he already had this power. He was just reminding them, making it very clear of that power and authority, which he had and which he, to some extent, would share with us. And he said, I want you to go to the whole world tell people, teach, make disciples, baptize. He said, I want you to go to all nations. That means all kinds of people in all kinds of places all over the world. Make disciples everywhere. That means teach people about Jesus. Baptize these people that we teach about Jesus in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, teach them to observe his commandments. And of course, he had a lot of commandments, but the foremost ones, easiest to remember, and the ones we should try the hardest to follow, are to repent, follow him, let our light shine, and love one another. And Jesus said, remember, I am with you always. King James says, always. The original Greek says, I am with you all days. Every day he is with us. Until the end of the world, the end of the age, the end of time, until he comes back, he's with us. We don't have to wait for his return to feel his presence and get his help. And now the churches are beginning to have live, in-person Sunday school again. I encourage you to go. But of course, we'll continue to put out videos for those who may not go to church or may just need another perspective. The rest of this lesson deals with some passages that Paul wrote. One of them has to do with people becoming new creatures through Jesus. We become a new person and we tell others how to renew their lives. And Paul talks about how we are ambassadors for Christ. We are supposed to be an active, visible representation of the love of Jesus to actually be doing something in this world that's positive. Action point. Overcome your fear. Ask the Lord to help you. Thank him for saving you. Ask him to give you more boldness, 
to share the gospel, share Jesus, share his love. Action point. Tell the world, the whole world, everybody who will listen, that God loves the world, that Jesus loves us. And don't just tell them, show them how Jesus loves us. Jesus te ama. That's how you make the world a better place. Now, as we prepare to close, listen to this very carefully. Remember this. Politicians, no matter what party they're in, are not going to make this world a better place. The courts are not going to make this world a better place. Only love. And that's what Jesus told us to do. To love and to act with love and compassion. Help each other. Be civil to one another. Only love will make the positive changes that our world so badly needs. Let's share the gospel. Christians, we have no excuse for not doing this. Father in heaven, we thank you for your salvation. We pray that you would give us the courage now to go into the world, and as we go, to make disciples, to teach, to baptize, and to show your love, spread your love, do all the good we can. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, like he said, go.